So I made a video uh, yesterday titled, Maybe Some People Should Just Give Up. And I admit, I went really, really hard in that video. I probably could have been a lot nicer. But I think some people misunderstood what I was trying to say. So I just want to try to be very, very clear with that. YouTube doesn't really show you like the dislike count on a video anymore. So I'll show it to you. It's only 5%, which was honestly surprising to me. I'm surprised by how many people agreed. And for that reason, I'm glad I made the video. I think for some people, they said, hey, this video was a, a wake up call for me. I had realized that I was I was going down the wrong path. I was just, you know, being lazy. I was, you know, relying too much on ChatGPT. And I'm glad that at the very least it had some positive effect. But I think maybe it had some negative effects. Maybe I insulted some people. So let me try to be very clear. I will go back to that original comment. I was not trying to pick on this person. And the only reason I'm showing the comment again is just because since I showed it in the original, I should do the same here. But I'm not picking on this person and I'm not even focused too much on this individual person. But to be clear, this person is not stupid. That's not what I was saying at all. In fact, I think they're a very smart person because they asked the exact right question. I guarantee the vast majority of people who watch this video they never had that question to begin with. They just accepted my explanation at face value. And many of the people probably just memorized the solution. But this person actually asked a question and you should be feeling good about asking questions. I'm not saying asking questions is a bad thing at all. The only reason I was frustrated is because I believe that this person is smart and I believe they were this close to answering their own question because they asked the question perfectly. Why is that case worse than, like, it would never happen? Why would this case never happen? So clearly they knew exactly what they were doing. Uh, at this point, I'll take the comment off the screen because what I'm about to say is not directed to this person or even this comment in general. I'm trying to make a broader point. You know what the beauty of having a question not knowing something, being confused, maybe even being scared that you don't know something, and then being able to answer your own question. Do you know how powerful that is? Because the alternative is somebody else helps you. And there's nothing wrong with being helped. I mean, none of us, you know, independently discovered all the math and all the computer science and all these things because it would take too much time. So, of course, it's good to get help on things. And maybe that's all the original comment was doing. So I apologize, okay, for anybody who feels insulted by what I said. But when you get into this, like, loop, all of a sudden, you, you start to genuinely believe that you need help, that you couldn't have done something otherwise. You could not have done it without you know, some resource or some video or chat GPT or whatever, you start to think that actually your brain is limited. There's limitations in your own brain. You start to believe that. You start to believe you're a weaker version of yourself than you really are. That's the problem. That's the thing that I think upsets me. And there's so many examples of this. If you just go through human history, you, you realize what humans are capable of and you know, many of us, including myself, we don't, we're not built the same way those humans were because we don't need to be. We live very comfortably in our houses and whatnot with heat and stuff. But it's not like it would be impossible to live without these things. But anyways, and I'm also not saying that I'm smart. People think I have some kind of superiority complex, whatever. But I don't think I'm any smarter than anybody else. I don't think I'm any smarter than the person who left that comment. I genuinely don't. I wish I was as smart as people believe I am, but I'm not. If I'm a little bit better at leak code than the average person, it's because I did this. I tried to answer my own questions. And I'm not saying you can't ever watch a video or you can't use ChatGPT to explain something or understand something or even memorize something. But don't fall into the mindset that you can't do something by yourself. If you didn't, if you chose not to, that's fine. But a lot of people, they don't even think they're making that choice. They think they have to. And that's the problem. That's all I'm trying to say. Because have you ever had a teacher or a mentor or even a parent who did not spoon feed you, who didn't do everything for you. They expected you to be able to do something that you believed you couldn't have done by yourself. 
Have you ever had an experience like that? I hope you have because I definitely have. And you know what happens through that experience? Eventually, you know, you start here, you start at level one and then you progress, you get to the next level, you become a better version of yourself and you keep doing that, you keep progressing. If you skip these steps, it never happens. If you treat somebody like a baby, if you treat somebody like a child, they're going to act like a child. They're going to believe that they're a child. I'm not trying to diminish anybody. I'm trying to treat people like the smart and capable people that they are because they can do things. You can do things that you believe you can't do. It's not easy. Of course it's not. That's why not everybody does it. But it's worthwhile. And the reason it's so important is because if you don't do it, if you have a teacher, let's use that example, we've all had teachers before, and they give you an assignment or something and they don't tell you like every little detail, they expect you to figure certain things out. If they didn't do that, like this is actually a gift, that's what I'm trying to say, this is a good thing, because let's say they didn't do that, let's say you just coasted through this and you didn't need to develop those skills. Well, when you get to level two and level three and you keep going, eventually, you're going to get to a point where you can't do it. You would never developed those skills and now you're all the way like this far. You're an adult. You're past your degree. You're on the job and you never had those skills to begin with. And now you've set yourself up for failure. That's what I'm trying to avoid. That's the reason I said in the video, maybe some people should just give up because and I'm not telling anybody to give up. I'm trying to do the opposite. I'm just saying, don't set yourself up for failure. Don't lie to yourself. Please don't skip the parts that are difficult and make sure to develop the skills because otherwise nobody's going to tell you what I'm telling you. You're going to get through your first year, your second, third, fourth year of college. You're not really going to know much. You're going to get the diploma anyway. And that's the most dangerous thing. You're going to get the diploma. And obviously universities are credible. You're going to feel like, well, I earned that. I'm capable, I have a degree now, but you didn't really, and so eventually things are gonna hit you, and that's really unfortunate. And it's not just true with school, it's true with so many things. Like, I won't go on too much of a tangent, but you guys know, like, in Indian culture, sometimes, in many cases, there's uh, this culture of parents really, like, coddling their kids, not teaching them adult skills, not like just treating them like a baby. So then they act like a baby and then they grow up and then they don't really have the skills. I'm trying to say that that's a bad thing. You shouldn't spoil people. You shouldn't do too much for them because what you think you're doing is helping them. But what you're really doing is taking something away from them. You're taking away something really, really valuable from them. That's all I'm trying to say. If you don't like me, if you don't agree with me, honestly, that's fine. It doesn't bother me. People think when I start speaking with a little bit of emotion, they think I'm just, you know, having an aneurysm or a stroke or something. All I'll say about that is you guys don't have to worry about me. Trust me, I'm fine. And maybe I don't have to worry about you guys either. Maybe you guys are more capable than I thought. Like maybe you guys aren't doing this. Maybe you guys are actually proactively seeking out the challenges. And maybe I'm wrong. I think I probably am wrong. I don't think this generation is cooked. I think people will adapt and I think the human spirit will not be defeated anytime soon.